so this is a dark light crypt i had to retake something because i'm pretty sure i said something that wasn't allowed so this is my original those two aren't my original so uh, i lost those two at my grandparents house never saw them again don't know why so yeah this is my original dlc i did try to paint it once again but I think I cleaned it up pretty well because it looks, I mean, a bit scuffed, but pretty much like a new. Now, apart from the nose, the nose's paint is slowly fading away. So, yeah. Uh, the original Skylanders I got, which was the Dark Light Crypt Adventure Pack, pretty much. Uh, I couldn't play it until we moved houses. So, because I've been to a couple houses, which I might explain in a later date. Uh, so I wasn't allowed to play Skylanders until we had moved houses. So I begged my parents and said I'd just use them as toys until we could, like, uh, go to the new house. So they allowed it, and so I was just doing this a lot. Which, honestly, used to be fun. So Ghost Rusty was in this pack. I'm pretty sure the design of... The box was like this. Uh, I don't own any cards apart from Drobot, but even then, that was my sister's. She never played it, put it in a bag. So, moving on. Moving on to Dragon's Peak. Pretty sure everything's out of focus. Yes, it was. So, Dragon's Peak, I never owned any of the DLCs. Part. Actually, no, I owned two of the DLCs from the original game. So... This Dragon's Peak, I found it pretty cool. I remember when these were originally $9 at DB Games, so I'm pretty sure I never originally got this when I saw it. It's still pretty cool. It's like a staircase there. I used to love all the, like, the tiny details on these figures. And then they got a bit lazy later on, I guess. But, like, this, this is so cool. Same with, like... Uh, Empire of Ice, the Dark Light Crypt and all that, Pirate Seas, they were so detailed, since I'm pretty sure Sparks, I never played the original Spyro games, I do have one on PS2 though, and Winged Boots, which I got off of eBay, and I'm pretty sure it arrived yesterday, hopefully my bash arrives today, so, yeah. He goes pretty pricey with shipping and all that on eBay, so he was sort of hard to get, actually. So, moving on once more. Pirate Seas Adventure Pack, which came with Terrafin. Also, I forgot to show uh, Sunburn with Dragon's Peak, so, yeah. So, yeah, uh, Pirate Seas Adventure Pack. Got this from Kmart. Once again, so, I think I forgot the, uh, I think I forgot the name of these two items, uh, I'm just gonna call it Treasure Chest and the Swords, I've never known the names, well, I think I have, but I'm really bad with names, like, really bad, seriously, ask anyone I know, I don't know their names either, so, yeah. Bad with names, I actually had to look up one name uh, to make this video, so I forgot to look up their names, I guess. So, yeah, moving on to the last one. So, last pack, Empire of Ice. Once again, I don't really know the names of the magic items, apart from Healing Alexa, Time Twister, and the Wing Boots and all that. So... I forgot the name of these, but I do remember that you could get an- Oh, wait, no, that's Anvil Rain. Sorry, I forgot. I remember you could get Anvil Rain in Cloud Patrol, because does anyone else remember not being able to use their Wii all the time and having to use iPads? Yeah, no, shocker. Everyone has, like, a PS5 now. So, yeah. Oh, the head's hollow. I just realized that. I mean, I knew it, but, like... How did I not realize it? It's pretty dumb. 
Also, in the game, when it shows up in game, for some reason, it doesn't actually look like this, which is pretty sad. Same with Dragon's Peak. The only ones that actually show up in the game is Pirate Seas and Darklight Crypt. These actually show up in the game when you put them on. I think this appears, so if the Core Flight's here, then it's over here near one of the ruins, and the boat is in the docks, while well, Pirate Seas is in the docks. So these actually do show up in game, which I used to find really cool. So moving on back to these. Uh, Anvil Rain, which was uh, one of my favorite attacks in Cloud Patrol. I'm pretty sure Twin Swords, Magic Swords. I forgot what those are called. Pretty much the swords would used to like spin around in circles and just kill everyone. So now there's the shield and the Empire of Ice. So uh, I can't make any videos on Cloud Patrol due to the fact that they offloaded every single game Skylanders related apart from Ring of Heroes, which I don't like because it's an RPG and I don't really like RPGs, they bore me. Uh, I actually spent a long while on Battlecast, and it bored me. So, yeah. Also, I do still play the game. So, if someone that I know is watching it, uh, too bad. <laughs> uh, well, I don't, I've never known how to end videos, so just, bye. Just before I let the video end, I did actually end up getting bashed. It came a couple days after I finished making the video, or a day. Can't really remember time that well. Uh, so, he's a really cool character. I haven't been playing Skylanders recently because I've been playing Subnautica, so... Haven't really checked him out. But, yeah. It looks like a really fun character to play as. I should play as him soon. I'm not sure when, though. Also, I might be making a whole bunch of these mini-series or something. Well, depending on how many characters I have. Probably not. <laughs> so, uh, maybe like an episode per game, pretty much. So, if you want to see Giant Swap Force Trap Team Superchargers and Imaginators episodes, then just comment the word yes. Just comment the word yes, nothing else, just yes. And then I will make that like a little mini series, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't like saying that. Uh, do if you want to. Uh, okay, thank you. Goodbye.